Today I want to give you an easy technique to limit or restrict bandwidth available to devices connected to your network without accessing your router settings. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Masrur Beg and welcome to Mass Tech. Today I want to give you a quick and easy method to limit bandwidth partially or entirely to devices connected to your network without accessing your router settings. For that purpose, uh, let me just take a moment to explain what we are going to achieve in this video. Bandwidth, as you all know, is the rate of data transfer available to a device connected to an internet. Which means, higher the rate, faster the internet speed on your device, and lower the rate, slower the internet speed on your device. So by reducing or limiting this rate of data transfer among other devices connected to your network, you can enjoy higher interest speed on your device and that's what we are going to achieve in this video today here so before we begin first thing you need to do is download this software called selfish net i've given the download link below you can go ahead and download from there and while you're there make sure you go like this video as well let's see if you can get 500 likes for this video okay let's begin now i've already downloaded the software before and i'm just gonna go jump into it and now you need to right click on it and then click run as administrator now if you're gonna double click on it it's just gonna give you an error prompt saying that you can't enter okay now it's gonna ask you which uh, wireless adapter do you do you use you are using uh, for uh, using the internet uh, i have only one so i'm gonna go ahead and set, say okay and now uh, it's gonna show me this box right here what this software is gonna do is is just basically gonna scan my network and uh, find all the devices which are connected to it and then uh, show me in a list and then i can go ahead and block them uh, when i say block it doesn't mean literally mean block them that they can't connect to the internet when i say block it means that they can't utilize any of the data of the internet in literal sense they'll be connected to it but they won't be able to use internet that's what the block means and then we have download cap and upload cap under the download and upload column over here you can set the limit up to which you want to restrict uh, the users uh, to use the data of your internet for example if you want devices to be restricted under 100 kbps you can set that under this column and they will be restricted to 100 no matter what functions they're performing and same thing applies to upload if you're gonna put cap on upload as well they'll be restricted within that quota you have assigned now proceeding on in this video we're gonna do two tests in the first test we're gonna measure the bandwidth right now of this device and then after that we're gonna block all the devices given the list and after which we're gonna uh, test the bandwidth once more and then we, we are gonna do a competitive analysis between the bandwidth before the blocking and after the blocking and see what different lies between them so let's get started
as you can see from the result, download speed has doubled from 1.13 Mbps to 2.05 Mbps. This is gonna give you a huge boost in your internet speed and effectively you will be able to use more of your internet. In the second test, we're gonna find if this block feature does really take all the bandwidth from the device. So the first thing I'm gonna do is in the this is use my smartphone uh, to casually browse through the internet and then I'm gonna go ahead and block my smartphone and see what happens after then. As you can see from the result, the internet was working perfectly before I blocked it and after I blocked it, it wasn't working at all. It was like I was connected to the internet, I was connected to the network, but I wasn't able to use any of the internet data. So this is the best trick to fool anyone into the perception that there's some fault in the device. With that, I have to wrap up my video. But before I do that, I have to inform you guys that I recently made a Patreon page. If you guys don't know what Patreon page is, it is basically a page where creators like me receive contributions from the audience so that we guys are able to make a better quality content for you guys with improved software and hardware so if you guys are willing to contribute towards my channel you can click on the box below and if you're not able to do that it's completely all right so with that being said uh, that's it for this video and i'll see you in my next video